Hello and welcome to Capacity Middle East Extra, powered by JSA. I'm Dean Perrine, coming to you live from just outside the Almira Ballroom in the foyer of the Grand Hyatt Dubai. And I am here with Mr. David Tram. David, um, it is a pleasure to see you, as always, um, on, on uh, JSA TV, powered by, by JSA. So, David, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and about what you do with uh, Capacity? Yeah, definitely. So, um, I'm a, a conference producer of uh, Capacity Middle East 2023, and uh, we've brought together a 70-plus speaker program as well, including uh, those that are featuring at Capacity Middle East, mm -hmm. uh, powered by, uh, extra powered by JSA, of course. So it's been an absolute privilege to put together the content and networking program for the event as well. And, and, to, and to see a convergence of community of um, regional as well as international stakeholders yes. um, all come here at the Grand Hyatt in Dubai and in, in a wonderful setting, of course. Yeah, and I'll tell you what an event it is so far, and we are really just day one. Is it just day one? Yeah. Because I have seen nothing but a, a constant flow of people in and out of this of the foyer uh, since I sat down here just earlier this morning. But why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, your um, about what your expectation is of, of the event? Because I can tell you this, um, I've been to a number of events already this year, and this is one of the biggest I've been. Yeah, I think expectations were really quite high, actually, off the back of a really successful 2022 event mm -hmm. as well. And we felt that real feel good factor around the event as we returned from the pandemic. This is yeah. a meetings orientated event as well with a, a strong component of, uh, of content in terms of that intersection between uh, as the Middle East, as that kind of um, meeting in the middle between mm -hmm. the East meets West philosophy. Course, so yeah. um, interconnectivity is an absolute important part of, of the Middle East ecosystem and and that's kind of the reason why they're here today really to yeah. form partnerships uh, to develop um, digital uh, ecosystems and uh, yeah that's that's been a really really short part of that. So do we have a read on the uh, actual numbers so yeah. far of the event? Mm -hmm. Do you have uh, you have some numbers yeah, to share with I've us? I've just got a quick one there so we've got 2,271 attendees, 82 stands, 106 meeting rooms. David, that's um, fantastic. 70 me uh, meeting tables and 12 premium meeting lounges. It just means that there's so many points of presence around the event yeah. uh, in which uh, you can have those meetings, have those important discussions. Um, see, you know, from a branding perspective, you know, from those taking part, you know, they really get the chance to sell their products and solutions to the customers that really matter to them. Yeah, and such a variety too of, of sponsors uh, at the event. Uh, you know, every everything from the, the the network people, the equipment manufacturers, they're all here. Um, so, uh, David, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit more about the capacity agenda, things that you guys have uh, coming up? Uh, what's give us a peek around the next corner? Yeah, definitely. So, um, Subsea, for instance, we're doing a Subsea Middle East uh, program that's going to be kicking off tomorrow, um, taking place from nine thirty uh, in the morning mm -hmm. um, GST. And uh, we've also got the, the Data Cloud track, which uh, was right. a really successful uh, part, the Data Cloud Middle East track, which um, started on Monday and is going to be continuing into uh, Wednesday as well, where we're going to be hosting it, where you're going to be chairing the Cloud That's Networking right. Forum right. as well at, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, in the late afternoon of, uh, of uh, tomorrow. Right. And um, we've got uh, a really, really good lineup of, uh, of sessions as well. Today's program has been really, really successful as well. We had a uh, big uh, keynote panels taking part as well to talk about, you know, that digital ecosystem and how yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Middle East mm -hmm. plays a real kind of central part in all of this. So, um, yeah, lots to come uh, as well. And uh, we've also got a, uh, we're also working with the ITW GOF to um, the Global Leaders Forum to mm -hmm. hold a student day event on Thursday as well. So we're really excited about that, working with, um, uh, regional supporters of, of the event to, to hold that and bring some students uh, to us as well. So there's a little bit for everyone, basically. A little bit for everyone. And I am, frankly, I, I'm, I'm very honored to have been asked to uh, to moderate the panel tomorrow. Um, so any um, any parting thoughts before uh, before I let you go back to your business? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, parting thoughts as well. Just come and see our conference program as well. Take part in, in our, uh, you know, networking functions as well. We've got uh, an evening reception event that's taking place tonight as well. And um, there, 
go go to the exhibition stands as well and, mm. and meet with partners as well because they'd love to meet you and you know i think whatever type of meeting that you have whether you know if it's a small event a binary event you know this is a chance to have those kind of like serendipitous uh, kind of meetings really <laughs> I love it. and uh, you, you, i think it's it's all about you know having those kind of like lucky meetings and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you just never know just meet people well you put it you put the right people in the in the room and good things are going to happen so yeah. david thank you so much for being with us um on uh on um the middle east uh capacity live stream powered by jsa we appreciate it yeah, thank you very much, Dean. You bet. Yeah, and thank on. you, viewers, for tuning in to uh, Capacity Middle East Extra, powered by JSA.